What is up, guys? Another crazy Urbex photography adventure. There's my boy, Ridham Ryder. What is up, guys? He's carrying hot dog buns in, left, in his left hand. He's carrying all kinds of other bullshit <laughs> in his other hands. <laughs> guys, we got a one-hour walk ahead of us through heavy brush. Black flies are really bad. That's why we got our protective gear on. Guys, it's like 30 degrees out here. We are sweating our asses off. We got a one-hour hike in to the abandoned Burwash Correction Center. Been closed since 1975. We're doing an all-night adventure, guys. We got the hammocks. We got coolers full of beer and food. We're all set. So I'll check in with you guys at some point on the walk-in. Okay, guys, round two. That was a false start. We were at the wrong place, parked at the wrong spot. Now we're a little bit closer, so now we're going to make our way in. We probably just shaved off about one or maybe two clicks off our walk-in, but we still got a long f***ing walk to go. Herbex Jamie up front. What is up, guys? Still sucks, guys. See you up there. What is up, guys? Okay, been walking for like an hour. About 20,000 mosquito bites later. There he is, right there. Brendan Ryder. We walked through almost waist deep swamp water, guys, to get here. And now, finally, right ahead of us, maybe like a five minute walk away. Is the Burwash prison. There it is right there, guys. Right up ahead. So, we were warned about the swamp. We thought we were good, but then we found the swamp. And then we got bypassed by a couple people on ATVs, having a good old time, smiling, waving at us. Ridden Rider decided just right now to take out his bug spray. <laughs> One hour too late. Okay guys, we're gonna go in, see you when we get there. What's going on guys? Still wearing my sexy bug mask. Down there we got Rhythm Rider. He's wearing his sexy bug mask. What is up? And uh, so right now we're just chilling on the roof. We've been here for a bit, walked around, came up, rested our fucking tired, sore bodies, trying to dry off our shoes, dry off our socks, had a cold beer, took a couple of pictures. So. Sun's going to set probably in about another half an hour, maybe, I'm thinking. Maybe a little bit more. But, uh, so hopefully we'll get some nice footage of the sun setting. And uh, we're in here for the night, guys. Haunted, uh, probably haunted prison. Hanging out on the roof. We've got to figure out where the hell we're going to sleep. We've got to figure out where we're going to put our home base and drop all of our stuff. And then we're going to do some exploring. Do some nighttime exploring. Do some dark exploring. Make a fire. Drink some beer. And then wake up in the morning and do it all over again, so... See you guys next time. See you, Rhythm Rider. Keeping it safe, putting on that bug spray. The Burwash Industrial Farm, also referred to as the Burwash Correctional Center, is a provincial jail that housed anywhere from 180 to 820 inmates during its history. The prison opened in 1914 and was closed in 1975 after it was deemed too costly to run despite it being a self-sufficient prison. Prior to the construction of Highway 69, Burwash, Ontario was an isolated location accessible only from a nearby station of the Canadian Northern Railway. At its peak, this correctional facility owned 35,000 acres and leased an additional 100,000 acres of land, and it was the fourth largest employer in the Sudbury, Ontario area. Following the construction of Highway 69, this facility became less isolated and signs were posted along the highway advising motorists not to pick up hitchhikers in the area due to the possibility of convict escapees. A town was required for the guards and support staff that worked at the prison farm and the community. This was built by inmate labor and housed anywhere up to a thousand residents. It boasted a public school which went from kindergarten through grade 10 at one point. A church, a post office, a barber shop, a tailor shop, and a shoe repair shop. There was also a grocery store that sold bread made by the inmates, meat from the farm, and vegetables produced by the inmates, as well as other grocery items which were brought in from Sudbury. The village was built from the lumber, and all of the provincial parks were provided with picnic tables made there as well. Burwash was considered to be almost self-sufficient, with the inmates working at various trades and receiving an education. 
One of the very few successful escapes from this prison took place on May 17, 1966, when convicted murderer Wayne Ford and two other prisoners escaped into the bush, walking for 16 miles before stealing a car and making it to Toronto. All three were eventually recaptured and transferred to maximum security institutions. this time yeah yeah what is up guys urbex dave what is up jamie keeping safe from them bugs look behind me you got that sun setting right behind me i got a i got a mosquito bite in my hand as we speak guys things are going well here three beers in and uh sun is starting to set temperatures going to drop but it's going to get crazy because urbex jamie found two scooters inside We're going to play on scooters. We're going to drink beer. We're going to do Urbex at night. We we're got gonna, fireworks. We're going to play with firecrackers. Guys, stick around for this video because this is going to be good. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Got that sunset. Now it's over the horizon, so you got the sky starting to light up. Lighting up these buildings. Everything's, everything's about to turn gold. Gold night. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes as we speak, guys. This sucks. Oh, <laughs> Gotta get the right angle so I don't get the fucking too much yellow yeah. out. Check it out, guys. Sun's going down. It's getting darker in here, guys. It's getting dark. Head on over here. Gotta start using the flashlights. Check this out, eh? Check it out. <laughs> yep. It's gonna get dark real soon, guys. What's going on, guys? Photography, Rhythm Rider. Rider, Urbex Campfire, Abandoned Prison. We're getting this shit done. We're about four or five beers in. Five beers in by now, I think. Six? Yeah, maybe yeah. even six. We don't know. Uh, we, <laughs> we stopped counting on uh, beer one. But anyways, we got Urbex Campfire going. Listen, don't be an asshole. It's fine, okay? It's a tile floor. We're doing okay. We're not going to burn the place down. We got to stay warm. We got to burn our hot dogs up. We're going to have a good time, guys. So this is it, guys. Rhythm Rider, photography. We're still here. We haven't really done much urbex, and we walked around. We haven't taken any pictures. Haven't done much video. That comes tomorrow, maybe tonight. Couldn't find some haunted shit. You never know. See you guys later. What is up, guys? Urbex Campfire, Urbex Jamie. What is up? Keeping shit safe, keeping warm. F***. What's up, guys? It's, uh... 10 30 in the morning and i just woke up rhythm rider he's over there he's already started making his video pretty rough sleep guys i here i'll show you we found these prison cell beds and we basically just put our sleeping bags on the prison cell bed and made makeshift pillows with our stuff and there was a bird making a noise Literally nonstop all night. I'm all congested from breathing in all the fumes from the uh, from the campfire. I got mosquito bites all over me. It's been a rough one, guys, but that's what we do for the herbex. So, anyways, I gotta have some herbex breakfast. I got some eggs and I got some little sausages and I got some cheese. Better than nothing. So uh, I gotta shake these bugs out of my head. And we're going to get back to this video. See you guys in. Okay, what is up, guys? Here we go again. We're back. Camp Bur Camp Bison Burwash Abandoned Prison. <clears throat> now, if you're on my 360 video, you might be looking straight ahead at the trees. Turn yourself around and you'll be able to see me. You're, I'm facing the other way. Okay, guys. I'm feeling rough. It's been a long night. Rhythm Rider and I stayed up really late. We had a lot of fun. Did a lot of drinking. <clears throat> My throat hurts. But this is what we came here to do, guys. Look behind me here. This is the Camp Bison Burwash Correction Center, which was also a prison farm. And uh, it's on a very, very large piece of property. And the whole land was used for farming. 
and uh, the prisoners were all put to work. And then in inside here, you'll see the jail cells and where they where, where they stayed. This location, guys, was built in 1958, and it closed in 1975. And uh, I'll see if I can maybe throw some more information at you guys so you can uh, be educated. But I'll have to do that over voiceover or maybe over text because I don't have that information in my head. But here we go, guys. We came here to Urbex. We had a lot of fun. Now it's time to get down to business of what we came to do. So let's get inside. Let's take a look. See you guys on the other side. Okay, guys, here we go. Taking a look at the outside. This is your main entrance way right here. Now, the good thing about this Explore, guys, is that this property is owned by two guys. <coughs> and they'll let you stay here and come visit with permission. <coughs> so all we had to do was sign a safety waiver and uh, give them 20 bucks each. And we're free to come here and stay, the whole, stay as long as we want. So here you walk into the, this is the main entrance. And here you've got a cornerstone that was laid by... Uh, MPP, Minister of Reform Institutions, Minister of Public Works, on October 23rd, 1958. And then there was two more of these uh, cornerstone sort of plaques over there, but they've been stolen for whatever reason. So so that's that. But let's take a walk in, guys. Now, we're going to notice that it's in really rough shape, okay? Just letting you know here. Oh. It has been picked through and scrapped and graffiti and you name it, guys. This place has been through it. Oh. Here's a look out the windows to where we just were. <coughs> guys, when we were sleeping last night, we heard so many noises outside. The weirdest birds. The weirdest animal sounds. Oh, like just crazy, guys. Okay. So here we go, guys. This is like the reason to be here. It's these hallways, these corridors, these jail cells. Now, they don't have any uh, cell, any doors on the cells, but they were not barred jail cell doors. They were actually really thick wooden doors. There's a couple of spots probably in solitary, where they had uh, jail cell doors. We'll see those a little bit later. Uh, so one whole wing of this prison is off limits because the guys who own the property, they use it um, for when they come up here and they camp on their own or they come up hunting and stuff like that. So um, inside here is where we're not allowed to go because it's, it's owned by the owners and they use it inside there. So we weren't able <clears throat> to see what's in there on the other side, but it's pretty much the same from the looks through the windows as this side. <clears throat> we are not looking forward to the walk out, guys. This is a one hour walk in and out of this place. To think that some people do it in one day, it just it's crazy. <clears throat> so down there, guys, is the uh, the cafeteria and the kitchen, but we're going to go down there a little bit later. Keep going this way. Feeling rough, guys. Take you inside some of the cells. I mean, they're all exactly the same, so. <coughs> I'm gonna take a look outside. What a nice view, eh? Isn't that nice? <coughs> Birds are pissed, though. They don't like us being here. What is up, guys? <laughs> this is what we came to do. We're doing our best. Yeah. 
See, guys, here's the doors to the jail cells that I told you that they're wood. But look how thick they are, though. It's not just some plywood door. This is like thick-ass solid wood. Anybody got any guesses of what kind of wood that is? <clears throat> and then the end of this hallway, there's all kinds of garbage. Because <clears throat> apparently somebody was once living here. One of the guys that uh, owned the place, I think, might have lived here for a while. So he's got all kinds of bullshit left behind. <clears throat> we think he was living in here. Is there's a there's a lamp, there's an alarm clock, a pair of pants, propane stove. Um, he's got some cooking utensils, a uh, wood burning stove, right there, and then there's the bed, and then there's a whole bunch of just garbage that was outside. So I know a couple of people who have been here <clears throat> to come out and explore, and they ran into this weird guy living here so let's take a look here guys just down the two corridors <coughs> yeah the colors are really nice in here and the shadows coming from all of the doors Tell you guys, these uh, these swallows are very protective. <laughs> like I'm not gonna come and, and disrupt their their nest, but they just really want us to know that they're here and to leave them alone. It's like they come right for you. <laughs> oh, and then he goes outside. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, if you're wondering why I'm not going in every room and every jail cell, because they're identical. There's nothing interesting in any of them, just so you know, guys. <clears throat> oh, and then back here is the showers. Interesting room. Take a seat here and wait your turn. And then if you look in here, all of the... Uh, all of the shower heads are gone, but there's soap dispensers across the whole floor, across the whole wall. <clears throat> so this would have been your shower stall, guys. <coughs> I'm hurting, guys. I'm hurting here. Here's some, some of these steel doors that they had. Very hefty, heavy duty steel doors. And then over here is what we think was uh, solitary. And you'll see why. It's way back here. It's all uh, very secluded. <clears throat> and then each cell, this was all glass block, as you can see which has been broken, followed by huh, a jail cell inside, jail bars, and then your cell. And there's three of these on each side, uh, two of them actually, <coughs> two on each side. With this thick uh, cell door. So this is what we believed was possibly the solitary. <clears throat> and then here's the shower. Um, solitary confinement always has its own shower. And then this, I don't know what this room is. Not too sure. But anyways, guys, <clears throat> this is <clears throat> what we think was solitary confinement. 
Take a look out the window, guys. See a look out the back of the property. Super nice. So secluded. Like, I don't think I've ever in my life been this far out in the middle of nowhere, guys. <clears throat> And then this is another solitary confinement <clears throat> right here. It's a nice, nice big penis graffiti there. <clears throat> so moving along this side is identical. Oh, actually no, this side, this side has three confinement cells and there's one shower for all five of them. So there you go. And then take a look outside. There's an old building here that's been uh, torn down. <clears throat> Super nice piece of property. So this right here is, yeah, we're going to go over there in a minute. That's the uh, auditorium on the top floor there, which is where we're going to go in a minute. The big crow sitting up there on the roof he's big oh. <clears throat> all right making our way back down the hallway guys uh, excuse me <clears throat> I think we're around the corner we're about to go around is the longest hallway. So you get a nice long corridor shot. There you go. This is the longest one. Yeah, the only thing unique about these jail cells, guys, is that there's different graffiti in every one of them. But it's all stupid graffiti. It's not like anything that has any depth or meaning. <clears throat> so down here, guys, there's a piece of an old piano. So it looks like there used to be a piano in here, which is very interesting. Up there is where Urbex Jamie and I are camping out. We're going to go there in a minute and, uh, before I go up on the roof. But we got to finish off this floor here, guys. <coughs> i got to get some Gatorade. Get a drink in me. <laughs> Poor little birds. So let's take a look here, guys. We'll turn around and I'll show you guys all the way down. There you go. There's the other end. <clears throat> Another larger room here. This is, must have been like a common room. I think there's uh, probably that was a television up on the wall there <clears throat> for the inmates to watch TV. Somebody thought it would be a good idea to take this old uh, car seat here or chair and burn it. Up there. <clears throat> and then I think this is identical to the other side, guys, where he goes to uh, solitary confinement cells. Find out in a minute. <clears throat> Yes. What is up, guys? What is up? up? Rhythm Rider, do anything? 
Yeah, so here's just the same, guys. More of the same, solitary confinement cell. You wanna go inside? See what it was like to be in solitary confinement? There's obviously, there was probably a bed in here and a toilet, but it's not here anymore. <clears throat> so it's interesting that they had a cell within this wall here. So you've got yourself celled off here. You can see where the bars were, but they've all been cut out. But then this little area right here was uh, a part of your cell, but you weren't allowed to use it. Interesting. And down there is the power plant. We're gonna head down there in a bit. <clears throat> I will have two cells and a shower. There you go. And then this weird room right here. Maybe this is a, well, this is probably a toilet, guys. Toilet and sink and shower is what I'm guessing. What the hell do I know? And then again, that's the power plant right there. We'll go down there in a little bit. It's so quiet out here, guys. Like, so quiet. <clears throat> what are you guys thinking about this place so far? Are you liking it? Is it interesting? We did a, uh, <coughs> excuse me. We did a haunted video last night. We tried ex uh, exploring it all through the night in the dark to see if anything happened because some people call this the haunted prison. There's nothing haunted about this place. I have slept in uh, a mental institution once and I heard weird noises through the night that I couldn't explain when we were trying to sleep. And that made me wonder what the hell is going on in there. But... Not this place, guys. And nothing going on in here except for these swallows flying around the hallways. <clears throat> and here we are, guys. This is where uh, Rim Ryder and I set up our camp for the night. Got ourselves two cots. And a little bit of a fire to keep us warm in the night. So I'm going to get myself a drink, refresh my voice, and uh, take a quick break. And then we'll go inside and check out the rest of this place, guys. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, getting right back to it. <clears throat> Had a little bit of a drink here, a little bit refueled. And uh, in here, I'm guessing this is probably a gymnasium. But I'm not 100% sure because looking up on the roof and the ceiling, there's these things hanging that I can't quite picture what would have hung from these. And I don't see, I don't know, you know what, I might be wrong about this. Maybe this is something else, like a workshop or something. But I don't think that this is a gymnasium. It is in rough shape either way, guys. It's back here. Oh, it's just a bathroom. Take a look out the window, guys. There you go. Take a look around. <clears throat> what is up, guys? <laughs> Okay, guys, so this is the auditorium. Top floor, got your stage. 
It's looking pretty rough. Stage is starting to collapse down a little bit. <clears throat> that crow outside is pissed. And basically, guys, what we're standing on right now on the floor, this is the ceiling. Because up on the ceiling, it's completely fallen down. So we're now basically standing on all of the soot that was once the ceiling. Underneath here is parquet flooring. We'll be able to see some in a minute. But here's your stage, guys. I wonder if the inmates put on a show every once in a while. Interesting, eh? There's your stage. And then there you go. I'll head over here and I'll show you guys some parts of the floor that are still intact. Take a look right here. And that's not, oh, here we go over here. <clears throat> so here's some parts of the parquet flooring that's still intact right here. Uh, there's little pieces of it all over the place, but yeah. This looks like it was a bathroom. That looks like they were urinals or something right there. <clears throat> so now, guys, we're going to head up to the roof, and I'll show you guys the view from the top. And then we're going to go downstairs and check out the power building. And then that's about it. And it's picture time. Here's Rhythm Rider. Taking a break. Okay, guys, here we go. There's that crow right there. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. Okay, guys, welcome to the roof. Beautiful view up here. It's nice and breezy. It's warm but breezy. Just gonna uh, jump down there. Okay. So check out here, guys, <clears throat> where the bricks are separating from the building and falling down one by one down to the ground there. Not a good place to be standing. The mosquitoes were really bad last night, as were the black flies yesterday during the day. Not so bad right now. So we'll take you over. And this is where we started the video, guys. Right down there. So right now we're, we're directly above the main entrance of the jail. And then you look here to the, from the right to the left and you can see the whole piece of property here. All the way around. A bunch of geese flying away over there. So there used to be, <clears throat> um, there used to be like a, almost like a town or a village in the area around here. And uh, in the late 70s and early 80s, they tore them all down. But they did leave this, they only left the jail standing. 
but there was pretty much an entire village of houses and stores and stuff in this area but now it's pretty much just nothing but grass and trees and forests and then the jail right in the middle if you guys are on the 360 video this is a pretty good chance for you guys to look around and uh check the place out other than what i'm just showing you with my own eyes <clears throat> So the, uh, the guys that own this place, they apparently have plans to eventually turn this into something. But, oh, I mean, first of all, that's going to cost them a fortune to do because, I mean, there's no power out here. So they got to run electricity out. They got to run plumbing. They got to bring the building up to code, which, I mean, it would be pretty much impossible. Well, no, but because yeah, you got to have a lot of money to do it. But the plan is to turn this into something, whether it's like a conference center or a hotel or something. You guys can feel free to fast forward this part if it's boring. Just walking around on the roof. I'm not going to walk all the way over the other side of the roof, but I'm just going to go to that other corner right here ahead of us and just take a look around. <clears throat> I'm not as excited in my video today, guys, because I'm pooped. My whole body hurts from that walk in yesterday. They got shotgun shells here. There's a whole bunch of them actually. There's just one right there. <clears throat> but uh, there's 22 casings and shotgun shells all over the place up here on the roof. When we got here yesterday, there was four kids here. Came in on ATVs and they said that they've seen bears. They've been here before and saw bears. So anyways, Take a look down here, down on the, uh, the grass, and take a nice look up at this piece of the property here, how big it is. There is a stream that runs through it, but you can't see it, and then over here, and there's the prison. <clears throat> okay guys, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop the video, and I'm going to go inside, take another drink. And then I'll meet you guys and we'll go downstairs and we'll check out the cafeteria, uh, the kitchen, and the powerhouse building, and then we're going to wrap it up. See you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so here we are. We are at the crossroads in the very main reception area over there on the main floor. And we're going to head down here now, down this ramp, and we're going to go check out the kitchen, all right? Now, what we think we're looking at here is this is probably where the guards would sit to observe and watch because this is the cafeteria. This would be where the guard, where the prisoners come and go. And so this here is most likely where the guards would sit and they would be protected by their armored doors, by their, look at how thick the glass was here, guys. Hold on a second here. Super thick glass in between them. So this is definitely where the guards would come to sit and uh, observe. <clears throat> and then here we are in the cafeteria. Very quiet in here now. If you guys are in your 360 uh, video, just feel free to look around. I, I know I'm walking in circles here, but you guys are free to look around and check things out. As you can see, a lot of graffiti. This is a very popular spot here. And this is likely 
where they served and cooked the food right here. My guess, anyways, makes the most sense to me. <clears throat> I wonder what kind of food they served here. And then we discovered this last night right here. We found a spiral staircase right here. And it goes up into this room, which is like an observation type area is what we're guessing. And that pretty much covers the cafeteria and the kitchen. <clears throat> now we're going to head in here into the power building. See what's in here. That. Oh wait, I'm showing you guys. There you go. Okay, we come on in here. We head down these stairs here. Oh man, my pants keep falling down. Okay, guys, here we go. This is your power building. And we got just a bunch of stuff in here. And we got some more stuff in here. Those are made for some nice shots with those lights coming through from the, from the ceiling there. And, okay, so then you got these three monsters here. Providing the power to the whole facility. There are tunnels, but they're pretty dirty and flooded. So we decided we're not going to go into those tunnels today. So there you go, guys. Get a good look at that. And too dark in there. Let's take a walk around the other side here. manhole over here. I don't know where that goes. Oh, there's a 
it's like a water water system water drainage system there <sighs> And there she is, guys, right there. There you go. There it is. Nearly all of the remaining buildings at the Burwash site were demolished in 1994, although the Camp Bison Jail facility is still standing as of 2019. In the early 2000s, Various proposals were put forward to re-establish Burwash as an international community which would be built on the principles of environmental sustainability. To date, no such project has actually been formally launched. Okay guys, that wraps this one up. That has been your Camp Bison Burwash Prison Explorer. There it is back there. Take a little bit of a better look at it for you. There, there it is guys. So, this has been one hell of an experience for Ridden Rider and I, you guys. The whole drive, the, the drive here was about four hours from home for me. The walk-in was over an hour long through black flies and mosquitoes and hot and sweaty. And then we had to walk almost crotch deep through swampy water because the road in has been washed out. Probably we walked for a good 10 minutes guys. Rhythm Rider's got a picture of that. If I'm able to get it, I'll drop a picture in of me. And I'm about knee deep at that point. So guys, we put a lot of effort into this one. I hope you guys have liked it. I hope you guys have watched the whole video. And uh, I hope you guys appreciate the work that we put in to some of these locations that we go to. Some of them are easy. Some of them are not, and this one was definitely not an easy one to get to. But you know what? This one was 99% the experience and having fun, and 1% doing some exploring. But uh, anyways, guys, Rhythm Riders links are down below. Make sure you guys drop me a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys have to think about this place and this video and this location. Make sure you hit the like that video, hit the like button on the video. And guys, most importantly, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and uh, follow along with all my stuff and make sure you follow Ridden Rider because he went through hell right, right through this whole place with me. So we're going to take some pictures now guys, then we're going to eat some lunch and then it's time to make the long walk out. See you guys on the flip side. Okay guys, Ridden Rider's up there feeling just as rough and tired as I am. But if you notice, just to the right of Ridden Rider, something orange, guess what we found? We found scooters guys. We found Bando scooters. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to give you a first-person POV view of me urbexing the whole wing, the whole floor of this abandoned prison on urbex scooter. Now, last night, Rhythm Rider, if you look right here, if you look right here, you'll notice that there's some uh, marks in the, in the dirt. What that is is Rhythm Rider took his scooter last night, thought it would be a good idea, and you can, actually, you can actually follow it. If you follow this line right here, like this, and then it bumps into this right here, and then the Rhythm Rider prints start right there. You see what? <laughs> follow it? <laughs> and then this is where Rhythm Rider ate shit. You'll see your elbow. Your hand. My hand. Yeah, so he's got a little bit banged up there. Up. A little banged up. Let's hope I don't have as much bad luck as Rhythm Rider. So I'm going to fucking put this thing on here, and we're going to do a little Urbex scooter. Okay, guys, here we go. Urbex scooter, take one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go, guys. Main hallway. Here we go. What's up, guys? <laughs> We're back scooter. Let's get it. Here we go, guys. Around the corner. Around the corner. Yeah. Got an obstacle here. Got an obstacle, guys. Woo 
We'll do that again? Okay. Okay, straighten her out, guys. Straighten her out. Okay, we're gonna go back. Ready? Urbex scooter, take two. Oh, I fixed the phone here. Come around the corner, guys. Around the corner. Here we go. Get ready. Big one. What is up, guys? <laughs> Okay, take it to the end of the hallway here. Urbex scooter, 2000, 2019. <laughs> here comes UBJ, Urbex, Urbex scooter. What's up guys? Rider, Urbex scooter, it's his turn. Any minute now, he's gonna come darting around that corner. Here he comes, Rhythm Rider, Rhythm Rider down the hall. What is up, guys? <laughs> what is up? <laughs> 